Hello everyone, Noshad here. In this tutorial, we'll see how to print from a Xamarin Forms Android application to a Bluetooth receipt printer. To begin with, we need to create an interface called iBluetooth service on our shared project. So this iBluetooth service has got two methods, one for getting the device list and another for printing to the Bluetooth printer. Let's now look into Android project. From the Android project, inside the Android manifest, we need to give permission for using the Bluetooth. So we need to tick this Bluetooth, Bluetooth admin and Bluetooth privileged. So we could use the Bluetooth service from the Android app. And let's now look at the implementation of the interface. So we have another class called Android Bluetooth service.cs. So this Android Bluetooth service class derives from the iBluetooth service. So we need to give the implementation of the get device list and the print method. And also we would be using Xamarin Forms dependency service to call this class from the shared project. So the first thing to get the device list, we need to initiate the Bluetooth adapter by calling Bluetooth adapter default adapter and we have to import android.bluetooth namespace we also need to import systems dot diagnostics system dot link system dot text and java dot util to use the dependency service we need to import this uh, namespace as well so the project name and dot droid so whatever your project name and that goes followed by this android namespace so let's look at the get device list method, which simply returns string of device names. So to get the device list, we simply say variable bt device is equal to Bluetooth adapter question mark. So if not null, Bluetooth adapter dot bonded devices dot select. So we are using link here, i, and then we want to get all the name of the devices into a list. And we simply return the list of device names. So let's now look at the print method which is of async task that takes two parameters device name and the text we want to print. So to get the device we simply call Bluetooth device to device and then we retrieve the device using link from Bluetooth device in Bluetooth adapter, which was initiated at the top. Dot bonded devices where Bluetooth device dot name is equal to our given name that came as a parameter. Select Bluetooth device first or default. So that's going to give us the device we want to print to. So once we select the device, we create a try catch block. So inside this try catch block, we have a delay of one second, which is 1000 millisecond. And then we say Bluetooth socket equal to device dot create RF common socket to service record. So this is a secured connection between your Bluetooth device and your mobile device. You want to create the communication. And then that takes a UUID. So we simply say UUID dot from string and we pass this long digits number and then we say bluetooth socket dot connect so we create this secret communication between the printer and the device and then the next thing we want to convert our given text to array of bytes calling buffer equal to encoding dot utf dot get bytes so we convert our given text which is coming from the shared code so once we convert our text into byte, we simply call Bluetooth socket dot output string dot write, and then that takes three parameters: uh, array of buffer, int offset, and it count. So we simply say buffer, which was created here, and then we pass zero, and then buffer dot length, and then we close this communication. Bluetooth socket dot close. And inside the catch block, we simply 
log it in our diagnostics using debug.writeline exception.message and we throw an exception. So that's done from the implementation side on the Android and let's now look at how we could call it from our shared code. So we have a view model called print page view model.cs. Inside this view model, the first thing we have to initiate the i Bluetooth service interface. We also have list of string of device list with the backing field, print message of type string, and selected device type string as well. Inside this device list, if the device list equals to null, we want to initiate that to a new observable collection of string and then return the device list and then we want to set anytime we want to set it to the new value. Same goes for the print message and the selected device simply returns the backing field of selected device and set the new selected device of the new value if it changes. And finally we have a I command of print command which is a new command of type async and that calls this bluetooth service dot print method. So let's now look at the, our constructor for the print page view model. Inside this constructor we initialize this bluetooth service which was defined at the top. equal to dependency service dot get and pass our interface which we created at the beginning and then we say variable list equals to bluetooth service dot get device list and this device list dot clear so we want to clear any existing device list and for each item inside the list we want to add this to the device list uh, let's look at our main page.saml. So already we have seen we have a picker that is bound to this device list and item display binding binding to all these items and then selected item is bound to the selected device and for the entry it is bound to the print message and the command is bound to the print command. Here. and finally one more thing make sure you don't forget to bind your view model to your views so binding context equal to new print weight view model let's now see the demo of this code working in a real device so from our settings page we look for the printer and pair with the printer And now we go to our app and from within we select the printer we just paired with and on our entry we write a little message and click the print button and now you could see it has printed the message so that was it for this tutorial. If you have liked this video, make sure like, share and subscribe. And I should definitely see you on my next tutorial. Thank you.